the beautiful world of Satisfactory where you can meet wonderful alien creatures. Today we will learn about their properties and their deadly power. For this purpose I built a special research center called the zoo. But let's start with the least interesting ones. This is a green bird, but it can fly like a chicken. You can kill it, but you get nothing by doing so. It is passive, 1 out of 10, next. Next up is giant flying manta. You can't kill it, there are only two on the map and they just fly. The only thing you can do with them is jump on it and fly. Better than a green bird, 2 out of 10. The next alien animal is hard to judge, and even to be named somehow. Just look at what its name is on Satisfactory Wiki. Coming back, this walking truck is passive, but we can kill it. When attacked, it starts to run like a mat. It only drops one alien carapace. Chunky boy out of 10. And now the first hostile creature, fluffy tailed hawk. They are almost everywhere on the map and will always attack you at the least appropriate moment. They are easy to kill because they only have 20 health points and their attacks are simple to avoid. They also drop only one alien carapace when killed. They do more than the previous creatures, but are still boring and weak, 5 out of 10. Our beloved fluffy tailed hawk has also a bigger brother, the alpha hawk, which is much more dangerous, bigger and harder to kill. He has 80 health points and 2 different attacks. He can charge at you like the small hawk, but he can also bite. His attacks are much more difficult to dodge, so it's the best to fight him from a distance. We also cannot forget about his wonderful tasks, 8 hawks out of 10. Flying crabs are in my opinion the most annoying opponent in the game. It is not tough to beat, but very annoying. 6 health points is very little, but first you have to hit them and that's a bit worse. You are always attacked by 3 flying crabs at the same time, and you have to deal with where all 3 are to avoid taking damage. 4 out of 10. Stingers come in many different types and sizes, but they all have the same goal of killing us. They are very fast and the bigger ones can even jump quite high. Mostly you can find them in a caves and jungle. Allied stingers apart from the basic attacks can also emit poison gas. If you don't like spiders you can turn on a special mode in options that will change the texture of spiders into cute cats. In addition they will meow. Ordinary stingers 6 out of 10, cat stingers 9 out of 10. And finally the last unfriendly inhabitant of a distant planet. Spitters are also divided into several types. The smaller ones are quite easy to meet and not too dangerous. The little one just spit fireballs. Alpha ones on the other hand spit fireballs that break into 18 smaller ones, bite and push single strong fireballs much stronger and faster than both from smaller ones. They are much harder to kill and even impossible at the beginning of the game. Small spitters 7 out of 10, big spitters 9 out of 10. It's time for the most wonderful creature in the game. Lizard doggos are cute friendly creatures that you can tame. After befriending them, they will follow you and bring you various items. 11 out of 10. And they can bring you radioactive waste. Cool. Pioneers are the most dangerous and aggressive creatures. Keep them locked up, because in the wild they will start being coal-fired power plants, destroying the local ecosystem. 420 iron plates out of 10. 